Hey, this is just a quick uh, backstabber guide. A little bit of gameplay at the front here to see how you actually play. And then we're gonna set up our hotkeys and razor together. I did uh, train up my my skills here. So if we look at our echo, 120 camping. I will go up to 120 forensic eval. 100 stealing, 100 stealth. I have 80 fencing, 80 macing, and we're gonna get rid of swords and shift. So A in my keyboard is hide. And A, if I'm hidden, it will stealth. So here we go. I've hit A again, and we're out here stealthing. And V on my keyboard is to attack nearest, okay? So I'm gonna hit V, boom, insta-death, and it skins as well. Then I'm gonna run over here and hide A on the keyboard, okay? So how do we actually set that up, Jace? What you're gonna do is you wanna be a backstabber, your main skills, a fighting skill, tactics, snooping, stealing, hiding, and stealth. Those are like your main skills that you're gonna need. You can actually replace snooping and tactics once you get your thief codex leveled up. So this ruffian and shadow hands allows you to drop snooping and tactics. So once you start gaining experience in your thief codex, you can then go full on camping uh, forensic evaluation if you'd like to and replace some of those uh, points. You can also keep them. You don't have to get rid of them, but this is what I did for my build. When we when we train our skills, if you see my character here, I actually have fencing and macing. The reason why I have that is because I wanted to see which one was better. And people told me that if you have two weapon skills, you actually get a bonus damage. So the idea is if you're trying to one shot things, you would use macing with wild swing. If the mob has less than 10,000 hit points, if the mob has more than 10,000 hit points, you would switch to blackguard and a hope for a disease proc. Okay, I haven't really done that much. But what's nice about having both weapon skills is as I'm gaining experience, I'm actually gaining points in both codexes, even though I'm only using a mace. Pro tip, if you are if you have two, two fighting skills, you're actually gaining experience in both at the same time, assuming you have the codexes. Make sure you take advantage of that. Now, when you're inside the game, I'm going to help us with some scripts real quick, okay? We're going to have a, this default profile. I'm going to say new, and we're going to call this one Jason's Backstab Guide. Back stab guide so a new profile jason's backstab guide we're gonna make a script what you can do is if you have your scripts here we're gonna we're gonna right click and add a new category bugger example so when i click bugger example i click new i'm gonna say this one hide and stealth that's what we're gonna name this script hide and stealth uh and what we're gonna do is we can actually code this together or we can take it from a website i am gonna code it right now it's gonna we're gonna say if hidden use skill stealth else and if you skill hiding okay and if i hit save here and i click this hide and stealth and i say set hotkey and i hit a in my keyboard if i hit a in my keyboard it will stealth it says you begin to move quietly now i i have a hard time seeing you begin to move quietly here so what we want to do is we actually want to go over to razor real quick Display counters, overhead messages. We're gonna check mark show, and then we can search in sys message or we can find our own. Now, if we do search in sys message, it actually looks for all these different messages that we've seen in the game, which is kind of good and kind of bad. I do wanna find you begin to move quietly. If I select you begin to move quietly, I'm actually gonna delete the step portion. So you begin to move quietly and I'm gonna click add. And then what we can say is stealth. So if we see the message, you begin to move quietly, the overhead message will appear as stealth. So if I hit A here, now we see stealth is there. We can also click this and say set hue, and we'll do a hue 89 so it's blue, because we want to see it blue. Now if I hit A again, we see it, stealth. Let's maybe change this to stealth activated, stealth activated. So stealth activated. Now we can see that we are stealthed. Now, the problem is our steps now are only in our thing, and I need to see the steps above my head because otherwise I'm blind. So we can also search in sys message for that as well. I'm just gonna click search in sys message. And what we can do is we can uh, uh, select the stealth steps remaining. Now it says you have 20 stealth steps remaining. We're actually gonna make sure that we add the first one first. So <laughs> the first one first, we're actually gonna go down to, you have one stealth step remaining and we're gonna select that. And we're gonna click add. You could say one step remaining. And then we can search in system message for two stealth steps, select add 
two steps, bro. And then maybe we don't care. Maybe we just want to show all the steps that we have. So instead of searching for you have two, 20, blah, 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 we can actually just say stealth steps remaining and click add steps. So now when I've hit A on the keyboard here, stealth activated. And as I walk around, it's saying steps. But maybe we want to actually say the, the type of steps. So we go over here to edit. We can use a replacement value using brackets. And the replacements are for space. So for example, you have one stealth steps remaining. You is one, have is two. The value of the steps is three, four, five, six. So what we can do is we can actually say bracket three, four, five. So this should say two stealth steps or whatever stealth steps remaining. So if I go, if I start walking, see it's got 17 stealth steps and you don't have to use that, right? You can, you can name this whatever, but the value we really care about that is three. So again, if we just have three here, it's telling us how many steps are in that message. And then as we get lower, it should actually switch. Now two steps pro, one step remaining, and this is where we can change the hue of these things so it pops out better in our brain. If we say select in game, it will uh, ho ho hover over this little thing so we can uh, choose different colors, or you could just remember them because you're a professional gamer. So set hue, we'll select in game, go yellow, that guy. And then uh, just in general, we'll set the hue here as a blue. Now as we're walking, now it says zero remain. So we should probably also add a zero remain. Now the trick is, is it's first come first serve. So if I try to add in zero stealth remain here, if I go search and I say select add, do not move. It actually won't be found because it's gonna find the first match. It's gonna look for one step, two steps or any steps. So we actually need to remove this one and then add it in again. We get to say stealth steps remaining, add in, and then we're gonna say bracket three because it needs to find it first. First come first serve in this list. So. Now we have health activated, we get our steps, everything's going great, fantastical. Let's see how it works once we get down lower. Two steps row, one step, do not move. Okay, now we're gonna do another one that says you feel ready to continue stealthing. We're gonna search this message because that's the easiest way to do it. We're gonna add that one and then we're gonna say stealth ready. And I'm gonna make sure that this other one's red so, so we can see it better. Okay, so when you're in the game and you're hidden, because remember we have A on the keyboard, I do have a attack nearest hockey, which is X on my keyboard. It's bound in game. Uh oh, macros and attack nearest looks like this. So what I can do is I can step over to this guy, hit X on my keyboard and then hit A. When we whacked him, we killed him in one hit because we're a backstabber, but we didn't skin. So this is where a little script can come into play where we go, we're gonna go back to scripts. We're gonna say mugger example. We're gonna say new and we're gonna say attack and skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and cheat here. We're gonna go to the little website called uoraserscripts.com. I'm gonna search for V in the keyboard because it's bound to V for me. And it's attack nearest and swap the katana. So we're gonna click copy, this little copy script button. That's gonna put it on our clipboard. We're gonna make sure that we're under attack and skin and hit control V to paste and save. Now, this is trying to look for a shadow, a shadow aspect halberd in our backpack and a shadow aspect katana in our backpack, but we don't care about that because this was like from our, our previous version. We can just leave that as it is. But anyway, what it's trying to do is it's trying to target the closest gray monster and then attack. And if you're hidden, it just waits. And then once we're not hidden and we find uh, Elven Spellblade in our backpack, it's gonna try to skin the corpse. So we're gonna set this as a hotkey as V. So I'm gonna click attack and skin, set hotkey V. So now if I walk over to this guy and hit it V, it also skins it, okay? So that's a very quick way to skin and kill at the same time. I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard here, that's hide. And these are all the keys we need. We just need A and V. So if you've hidden yourself well, that's great. Uh, we're also gonna add a system message for that one down there, the one that we just saw. We're gonna say search and system message. Then we're gonna say, you can feel comfortable. We're gonna say, select that, add. And we're gonna say stealth ready. I'm gonna hit A in the keyboard, stealth activated. We're walking. Now we have another one that says you will automatically stealth when out of steps. We can do that one as well. So we can search and system message, scroll down to the bottom, select, add, and then we'll say stealth ready. So we're basically making sure that we see that stealth is ready and all these different things. So now I'm going to walk down here and I'm going to whack a V on the keyboard, A on the keyboard. So the reason why I hid real quick is because I didn't want any monsters attacking me. But in theory, you should be able to click some loot and then hide again. So let's let's try to do that. We're going to go ahead and walk over here. We're going to hit V on this pure water, but we want to make sure that we're ready to stealth again. I'm going to hit V on the pure water V and we can click and loot A. 
See, it was too slow. I was too slow. So now I gotta run away and then hit high. I run away, we're gonna whoop around a corner, and then hit A. Now stealth is ready, here we go. Stealth activated. We are gonna hit V on the keyboard. And we're gonna go get that guy and we're gonna loot him up. Now you might say, Jace, how are you looting so quickly? Well, under your options here, auto object queue will actually let you loot really quick. So I think I turned that on uh, prior to recording this video, but let me let me hit A on the keyboard here. We're gonna hide. I'm gonna show you the object queue delay because we looted all that pure water by just click, click, clicking. I hit A on the keyboard again, the stealth thing. I hit V here. If I try to like click this, I can't. It really just depends on how you want to play because no object queue means you are correctly letting the game decide when you're ready to loot. The queue can kind of mess you up if you're trying to PvP or do other like activities. A and the keyboard, B and the keyboard. All right, there's one more thing about being a backstabber. We might need one more hockey. What's the extra hockey, Jace? We might want a smoke bomb. If for some reason you are fighting something and you can't get away, you might want to use a smoke bomb. So we're going to go over to scripts. We're going to say mugger example. We're going to say new. We're going to say smoke bomb. Now, if you wanted to write the script yourself, you would say greater than info on the smoke bomb and then try to use these IDs uh, inside your script. But we're going to cheat and we're going to go over to uarrayscripts.com. I'm going to search for S on the keyboard because that is the ultimate script, smoke bomb script. Boom. And we're just going to copy to script copy <laughs> smoke bomb control V save. And then we're going to click smoke bomb set hockey S on the keyboard. We're going to walk over here. Got our stealth going on, and we're going to hit V on the keyboard. V. Okay, we're going to loot this guy up. Now see how it's like not looting at all? I'm going to actually enable the queue again. I I, I need the queue on. I can't, can't play. See, like, I just want to be able to click it. You got to wait for it to finish, and then you're good to go. So this guy's attacking us, right? Like, we are unable to stealth. A on the keyboard, you can't hide. But I can hit S on the keyboard. S. Because Smoke Bomb is bound to S. And then we can instantly attack with V. All right, anyway, that's how we play the mugger. <laughs> our, our chain, by the way, our chain. If you're a new player, you don't have a chain yet, but our chain is backstab damage, 10 links. We would potentially do 10 links of above 66 hit points as well, but it doesn't really matter. You just play, just have some fun. Like, I, I'm not a min-maxer. Made it this far in the video. Thanks for hanging around. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe, share it with your friends. Check out my new website, uoaddicts.com. Add your characters. I'll catch you in the next one every Wednesday. Peace!